up with Jug is just spinning. Like as so as soon as you hit the hit the lane, you just spin instead of waiting for like the boots level three timing. Mm -hmm. You just go a bunch of mana regen and, and spam out the spin for her ass instead. Yeah, BZM getting pursued by Ori. He gets the heavenly jump up here. BZM. Oh my oh goodness. My God. Okay. Even after popping the fairy fire, Ori just stands there and kills them. I think that was the level three CS, but when you look at the net worth, he does have a decent lead. As Amar getting a nice static link in the bot lane, but the Wyvern. Zeus is going to hit six right now. Pursuing from Zeus Monet. Ult. Yep, Zeus ult is close. Just one as more. Siamese three. Cat is getting pursued now as well. Monet, though, he has to be a little bit careful. His time lock not quite available. And there's the Thunder God's Wrath from Ori taking out Amar. And Taiga gets a bash. Looks like he'll find a kill for himself, but Monet will get the trade again. Nicely played from Aster. Good communication as well. Waning Rift in the mid lane with the coil expended from BZM leads to a pickoff onto Baboka. Uh, this is huge. Uh, Baboka was able to tank the death for Ori. A mechanism for, for winning those fights. It's, it's really more about the splits. Yeah, he's already working on it. Oh, as no, Ori. Omar, he's going to get off the static link along with his ult as Ori. He's going to get saved for the time being by Siamese Cap. Here comes the first chrono of the game. Thunder God's Wrath is there. Amar is dead. Now the question is, will Taiga be able to reciprocate onto Ori? Orb is coming. Coil is expended. So BZM comes in for the kill on Ori instead. That ends up being a favorable trade for OG despite the death onto Amar. Now all of a sudden this tournament, everyone's picking it up. Seb, you got to hold that thought. Because I had to see that thunderclap come to fruition, but Impale with the mana burn. BZM's out of mana right now. Waning Rift to the high ground. Oh, he's oh, actually nice going to dodge the Thunderbolt. Very nicely played, but BZM getting pursued again, and Ori still finds the damage anyway. And now Yuragi inside the curse gets off the spin, but to no avail. Aster, two huge kills for them. Yeah, on top of that, Zeus is going to get this haste rune. That means he's going to be very hard is to kill. trend in scrims or something like that? What's going on with this? Um, it's just so good versus Aster's heroes. All five heroes requires to get their spells off, and most of them don't even want to buy BKB. So this Orchid will come in very clutch if they're able to find the enemy heroes. Yeah, we got the waning. We have to silence onto the Wyvern, so no curse to come. Taiga and company get a free pick off, but it's going to be at the trade of Taiga himself, as Monet is here to clean things up. And he is about a thousand away from finishing Maelstrom on the Faceless Void. But, yeah, we'll see how this Orchid works. The, the Juggernaut right now. Yep, XXS. His smoke is going to break. Looking to use that ultimate. Thunder God's Wrath is there. He's going to get stunned. Omni Slash, but there's the cold embrace for the save. Monet, not wanting to use the Chrono, but he's going to have to use it on his teammate and try to focus on the Enchantress, but he can't right click at all. So the Brewmaster dies before the split, and Monet has to try to time walk to safety. He's getting pursued now by Amar. He's taking heavy damage, but Boca looking for the Impale. He'll get it onto Amar, but he's going to get crushed. Cold Embrace comes and will be taken out eventually. Obviously there, Amar did die in that engagement, so it is a two for one. Huge blunder by the Wyvern. Out the Chrono and the Wyvern ult. Let's Taiga into the pit now, Baboka Vendetta. Spike Carapace is there with the Impale. Amar's already at half HP, and now Monet trying to focus on him, but the BKB comes out from Amar, getting out the static link as well. He's getting really low, has to walk to the other side, though. And now Monet, with the time walk, reverses back to try to finish off Taiga instead and save Ori in the process. So they get the support in Taiga and Amar, but Ori gets deleted by BZM, seemingly everywhere on this puck. Now Seb. He's going to take some right-click action from Monet. That's a double kill for XXS. And we'll see if that's enough for Aster going to the pit. But they actually found Yuragi with this tornado and the curse to try to counteract the Blade Fury for the time being. They've smoked on OG, so they can definitely jump the back line. BZM. See if he can get the jump now as Seb. He's going to get bursted. It's not quite enough for the kill. Blinster Blast does come in as Seb is still the one getting focused of all these heroes and the Primal Split is used to take him out very effectively. Cold Embrace now, but the Chronosphere saving him for now as it's on three heroes. Can they get Yuragi inside? He's getting bashed repeatedly. So Aster coming out on top of this fight so far, but the Snowball coming in from Taiga. At the very least, they will get Siamese Cat, so no more Cold Embraces to come. Taiga slowed to a crawl, finally will drop. And Amar. 
Time walk in from Mone as BZM still in the pit. He's going to get another waning rift off, but he's going to get bash. He has to be careful. Double bash, in fact, gets off the phase shift. Not able to time the lightning bolt correctly as BZM to the high ground. Looks like he will finally get away. But again, XXS is not done chasing. Amar, that's who he has in his sights. And Monet and company will get another kill in their name. Excellent initiation by OG, jumping the back lines. Is Orchid onto the Brewmaster for now is Monet. He's going to get Snowball on, but Seb is still there. Can they even kill this man? Doesn't look like it. Not even worth it for them as Taiga jumps in with that Walrus Punch, but he actually puts himself on the cliff. He's going to get impaled, though, but he's still alive as Boboka. He's going to be punished by that Blade Fury. And he's dead, so a 5v4 situation for OG. Coil now onto two. It's broken. No Chronosphere to work with still as the Omni Slash onto XXS. No Primal Split to work with, but he still lives through the entire Omni Slash. There's not enough damage there. And we'll see. He's going to play it safe here, despite having the Aegis. Obviously, no reinforcements at all at the moment. Yeah, he's playing alone up there, actually. He was bluffing, and uh, Aster did not call his bluff. You think they're going to call Seb on this one? Well, we'll see. Nimbus is there. Yeah. Wow. All right. Well, that's a lot of damage. Monet, he's going to pop the BKB, try to bait them into this Chronosphere. It's going to kill Taiga as a result. BZM looks to be fine, though. So two supports dead for OG. And this is going to kind of chip away at the, the timer on this Aegis. Looking for a fight. And we'll see if they find it. Baboka breaking it, but it doesn't look like there's a oh, dust. In Ori. fact, Ori's found with this coil, but look at the damage done to BZM as a result. Now the save onto Ori to keep him alive for the time being. And the, the, the ult comes out from Siamese Cat as well as the Puck. Very low on HP. He's going to drop it. It turns into a triple kill from Monet. Huge turnaround from Aster as Yuragi able to get that Omni Slash off. But like you said, there is the Cold Embrace again. Monet pops the BKB, gets a lot of his HP back, and now turning his sights to Yuragi. That is death number one. The Aegis is down as Amar is trying to save his teammate. But another Bruce Split comes and another Chrono, actually. Monet just came off cooldown, gets off that. It's a nice kill there. And now onto Ryagi they go. And he is completely surrounded here. And he's going to be brought down. So a full team wipe for Aster. Which started out as a pretty good initiation, it felt like, from BZM. Yes. Yeah, they want to get a ward up. Ryagi, so he's smoke's going to pop. Aboka in the vendetta form. Trying to slow them down. Taiga onto the high ground. Early primal split. Monet goes in, but not able to get the chrono off. As the Nimbus comes in and BZM might be caught, he's going to get stunned right off the bat. Another right click will do it. He's going to get off his orb, but he's dead, and the gem drops. Big kill for Aster. Now Enchantress looks to be, <laughs> they're just going to lift him up and ignore him. I'm like, God, I'm so sick of this Enchantress. Big mana burn on Yuragi, though. And he's going to get chrono and he's going to be brought down. 90, 90 seconds, seconds of no jug. But again, that's going to align pretty nicely with this second Roche. So we'll see what Aster can get with these two cores dead. Yeah, they've got good position for it. I mean, they're, they've got a ward down to the high ground, too. Aster looks like they want to fight into it anyway. Yeah, BZM, he's going to pop the smoke, but there we see Monet going in. They get some nice vision with that Thunder God's Wrath, and this will be a dieback on the Seb if he's bursted down, but Yuragi comes in with the Blade Fury Shard combination. Seb is dead. Here's the Chronosphere, but the counter curse is there, and the right click's being applied to Yuragi. Will it be enough? He gets off the Omni Slash at the last moment. The Snowball coming in as well. Amar using the Spider Legs to get to the other side, but the Static Link will not remain. Siamese Cat is dead. We'll buy back, though. But Boka gets a beautiful Impale onto Amar, who drops shortly after. Double buyback now from OG as Yuragi on the run, completely retreating here. He needs the juke. He trying really to get pursued, but you can see BZM trying to create some space. The coil was used. Not sure if they caught anybody, but it's going to turn into a triple kill from Monet. Is see Yuragi? And two dead board. from OG. Lifted up Yuragi. Does have his Blade Fury. Will use it, but the Bash is there. Monet. Another ult comes out from XXS. Trying to get this stun off onto Amar. Gets off his spider legs there as well. That'll be a dieback for him if they're able to contain him. He's on the cliff. They see him. Thunderbolt is there as well. And he's just right-clicking as a Zeus, and it's going to be enough. And four dead in favor of Aster. BZM, the last remaining member, he's going to get bashed. Gets off the face. And once his Aegis, like you said, the timer on Nyx, he's still dead for 40 seconds. Yeah, we'll see right. how much they care about that. Right now, Aster's backline is, is it really needs to be saved. They want Seb. They're actually going to use the primal split. And there's the Void Spirit coming out as well. Seb, 
He's dead inside the Nimbus. 70 seconds of no Enchantress. That was a nice still Monet. He has his Chrono. He's going to use it on Yoragi. Where is he? Where, where was he to begin this fight? He's getting off the Omni Slash at the last moment, though, to try to stay alive. But it's more of a defensive measure than anything else, as two are dead for OG and Yoragi getting chased. But he will get his blink off with the Blade Fury. Zamar inside this Nimbus has to BKB in, again, a defensive measure. They need to find the back lines of Esther. The story of this game is the Zeus and the Wyvern. Yeah, but they run into Monet and XXS instead. Seb, he's going to take the primal split to himself, it looks like, BKB. inside the Nimbus as well. He's going to pop a BKB of his own. Do they have enough to rip through him? It doesn't look like. But the other side of the fight, the, the deletion of Siamese Cat is huge. But the Chronosphere coming out onto Yoragi with the first damage from the Zeus. Is it enough? Yes. But the buyback comes out from Yoragi now. And Seb, they're still trying to go on top of him. But the instant sheep from Amar, can they turn this around onto the Faceless Void? Monet gets the time walk off, and he's very healthy indeed. And Taiga actually positioned himself poorly because of the snowball, but there, the buyback from Yuragi coming to fruition now as the Blade Fury just ripping through this void. Buyback, though, That's two of them from Aster. And it's another 5v4 in favor of OG, but they lose the puck, and he buys back now. And Amar gets off another sheep, this time onto Ori. He finally pops that BKB, but another primal split comes out as Amar attempting to TP out the bash. Not there. Ooh. So OG staying alive here, but the Impale coming out onto Taiga in the river. Don't think they can save him. So now it's a 4v4. Surely there's no buybacks available. I guess there's one on the Ench and Brew for now. As the next Roche is up, but Seb inside this Nimbus is going to get spin help from Yuragi. But it looks like Seb will eventually fall. Finally, double kill from Monet. Took them that long. He was initiated on in this fight. And now he buys back. So he, OG. He, Amar should be frontlining for his team because he is the only one buyback. He needs to be the one baiting. And Nimbus to try to scout this out. That's one advantage Aster could have, but then again, you are playing against an Ench with creeps. Oh, but the jump onto Amar. There's the Chronosphere, but that is a dead Wyvern to start us out. It is a decent Chronosphere onto two, and Nimbus doing a lot of damage, but you can see Amar buying back into the game. The Faceless Void, or oh my god, he gets the Chronosphere off just at the last moment, and Monet, he'll find one. Trying to focus now onto Seb. That's going to be essentially a dieback for him. Blade Fury coming in from Yuragi, but now kind of trying to retreat as BZM, very low on mana himself. And OG outnumbered. XXS, he gets off his primal split again, thanks to the refresher now. Check us no the damage onto Yuragi. And the Sheep coming out from Amar to try to focus down this faceless void instead, but it looks like Yuragi might be falling. He does die, three dead in favor of Axer, but it's going to be a trade for the Nyx Assassin. Amar, he's going to be spotted. He just bought back a dieback for the Razor now. So Aster, a three versus one, could go for the Roche, or they could try to roam here. Is Aster. They are going to try for it. XXS does have an ultimate available, I believe. He's going to get silenced for the time being. Or is that thing bugged on the top? I'm not sure. Either way, the tier 4 tower is dead. There's only two members of OG are in the area. Ori has popped his BKB just to survive through. BZM, Taiga. He actually pops his BKB, but he's trying to slow this down as much as possible. As you can see, Ori getting completely focused down, and he's dead to BZM's right click. But the complete target here from Aster is the buildings. He's trying to kill the Tier 4 towers are dead, and now they go for the throne. BZM living on a sliver of HP. Finally, the Primal Split comes out, and the GG's come out. Aster secure themselves top three. OG eliminated from the Arlington Major. What a game. A little bit of trash talk at the end there. ATF equals ATM. <laughs> <laughs> we did have a lot of deaths in that All game. Right. It happens. <laughs> so